Okay, so now we're going to gently pour the lye and soap mixture, as you can see, uh, lye <laughs> and water mixture into the olive oil. As you can see, it looks really good. Just pour that in really gentle. When you're working with lye and such, you want to be very, very, very careful. Always. Okay. So that's in. Now I gotta take my handy dandy handheld blender. And we're gonna put that in there. And then we're going to blend away. Now that's doing some tracing. So that looks like it's mixed very well. So I can take that and I can start to pour that into my soap molds here. So we're going to pour them into the sunflower ones here. And this, this batch here, so I'm starting off, I'm doing a batch of times three. So this is going to have no scents in it. And then once I get about half of this batch poured out, I'm going to add in some essential oil. So we're going to put in peppermint essential oil for these soaps. That's one of my favorites. I also like rose and lemongrass is really nice as well. But today we're going to do peppermint. You can also use this soap on your hair. And I don't recommend doing that every day, but you could use this soap on your hair maybe once a week. And it does a really nice job. It cleans your hair really well. Plus, you know what you're using in it. So uh, I think that's nice. So we'll fill up these molds. This bucket is heavy. but it makes a good bit of soap. Now this soap has to sit for six full weeks before you can use it. 
So it's nice to do a good amount of soap when you're doing it and then you don't have to um, be doing a lot of making soap all the time. Okay, well, let's do these heart-shaped ones here. I think these will make nice soap, the heart shape. I got all my molds online. I tried to buy them locally here. That wasn't happening. You can't buy too many silicone molds around here where I live. So, but online, if you don't mind waiting, then you can get a really nice uh, mold and a really nice price. Because so now I'm going to add this this uh, essential oil here. Sorry, it's not coming in, but it's it is peppermint. So I'm going to put in just a bunch of drops here. So it smells really nice when you're using the soap. Then I'm just going to take this spatula here, give it a little stir. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Okay. Keep this spatula close by because I'm going to need it again in a minute. Now, let's fill up. I want to fill up this little guy here. Snowman. He's going to be peppermint. You'll notice that I have all of my soap molds on wooden serving trays because I have to put them, I put them in the oven. That way they stay nice and safe. They don't get knocked around, nothing floats into them. They just go inside my oven, my oven's clean. And then they sit there for 24 hours. They cure that 24 hours, and then they get really nice and hard. Then I break them free out of the, pop them out of these. The reason why I do the sunflower the most is because it fits so perfectly in your hand and it feels good when you're using it. That shape. I gotta remember which ones are peppermint. So the ones in the darker mold are peppermint. And then I'll do a couple in, in these here with the uh, Snowflake, Snowman, and I'll do the gingerbread guy, and then we'll be done with this. And like I said, they just need to cure for 24 hours, and then you got yourself some soap ready to sit, and you're good to go.